We're, uh, we're happy uh, to get a win. We had a lot of people on the floor for the first time for the Cowgirls, including uh, Lowe to my right and Mac to my left here. So uh, thought we played really hard. We, we want to be a team that's uh, base everything around their defense and creating turnovers and deflections. I think we had over 35 deflections today, turned them over to start the second half. Didn't really finish the game like we would like to in the fourth quarter, but uh, it was important for uh, a new and young team to find a way to win, and we did that. And I got confidence in these kids and uh, believe that with their work ethic and the way they come to work every day that we're going to get better. And that's the goal is to get better every day that we come in the gym. Coach, your offense kind of hinged on Vivian last year, kind of down the stretch. Today you had four scores with eight or more points. Uh, what did it kind of mean to you to have to spread the ball around, have a lot of different scores? Well, you know, we've always wanted to have a team that has four or five people in double figures, and Viv kind of had a tough game by Viv's standards, and and uh, uh, you know she had a lot of good looks, and the ball didn't go in the hole, as did a lot of our other kids. So. You know, the answer to that is when it doesn't go in, you play harder on the defensive end, you rebound it strong, and uh, you have somebody come in and, and make plays. Lowe came in, got to the free throw line, was eight for eight from the line. Mac had 14 boards, and, uh, you know, it was, it was good outing for these kids. And, and uh, despite not getting picked up in transition at times and, and giving up some open looks, uh, we, we held our opponent to 47 points. Can you talk about the job you did um, defensively, holding them to just 20% from beyond the three-point line? Well, it was it was a night that the ball wasn't going in for either team <laughs> on that. But uh, uh, I think we uh, we had them hurried a little bit. Uh, our length caused them a little bit of trouble on the perimeter. Uh, you know, except for missing assignments in defensive transition, thought we covered pretty well all night long and. Uh, there's things that we could get corrected on that, but obviously we got to get some things corrected offensively as well. But uh, very pleased with with the effort. Uh, we talk about uh, getting three consecutive stops in a row, and I believe we did that five to six times tonight, and you're going to have a chance to win basketball games that w when you do that. And it's always a good feeling. We didn't have this last year when the ball goes up. I feel like this one to my left is going to get every rebound, and and uh, that's a good feeling. Coach, not only uh, holding them off of the scoreboard, <coughs> turning, into, turning those stops into points, 14 points off turnovers tonight, is that kind of the next step defensively is trying to turn that into offense? Yeah, we want to use our defense to create offense, and we did it to start the second half. But, uh, you know, they had, a, they had a nice scheme. They had their five bring the ball up against our pressure, and, and uh, the guy does a good job coaching. Uh, he won 22 last year and made a deep run in the WNIT, and they returned uh, uh, five of their top seven kids off of that team. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it was a night that I don't think we turned them over a lot, but I think there was a lot of possessions that they didn't get quality shots, and sometimes that's as good as a turnover. Coach, three of your uh, top four scores are newcomers to the team, either freshman or JUCO. Is that a trend you expect to continue, or do you uh, think the returning players are going to contribute more down the street? Well, the I mean, uh, I think there's kids that uh, uh, can do it offensively for us. We didn't get Cassidy to lap enough touches, and it's a combination for our post players. They've they've got to do a better job of demanding the basketball, and and we've talked to them about that. But we got to do a better job of getting getting it inside. A little tough to get it inside tonight because they were packed in the lane. That's where we got to have guards step up and make shots. How important was your um, free throw shooting tonight? You know, we, we always talk about if you make two footers free throws and win the rebound battle, you got a chance to be successful. Kids stepped up, hit 15 out of 18 from the line. It was, it was really big. Tasha, uh, your first official game as a cowgirl, you come out with a double-double. So how did that kind of feel in, in your debut here in Gallagher Arena? Honestly, it felt amazing. Like, just being out there with my team, first double-double, first official game, it's a big move for me. And it's you guys' first game, do you feel like you guys are already meshing pretty well, or is there still kind of 
some kinks to figure out with all the new players? Um, overall, we're doing pretty good. Still some things got to work on, a little bit of chemistry, just things down the road we'll get better at at practice. Lauren, eight trips to their eight free throws, four trips to the line tonight. Was that kind of a concerted effort going into the game to try to be a spark plug and then try to get to the free throw line, get in the paint? Um, <clears throat> for sure. Um, we weren't hitting shots, so I thought um, a place we're a good team at um, is the free throw line. So um, getting to the free throw line was a, a aspect that I wanted to focus on going into the game. And Coach, did you like the way she kind of asserted herself getting in the game and kind of taking over a little bit and trying to get in the paint? You know, Lowe's been a slasher for a long time. She's got the ability to get in the, get in the paint and make plays, and she's an excellent free throw shooter. And uh, you know, any time that she can attack, and uh, late in the game she she split the zone and <laughs> shot a layup against the zone. So uh, we need somebody that can can uh, make shots, but we need somebody that could create off the dribble as well. And I thought she did a great job of that. Anything else? Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you.